Hello, I am Trace, and I am the maestro. Hello, I am Tim, and I am the moron. You know, I thought you were going to call me out on it, but <laughs> yeah, okay, so if you're going to let it stand, I will let it stand. I'm definitely the maestro. He's the moron. Uh, yeah, we're going to draw some stuff for you today. I have my little, uh, you know, Denny's napkin down here that I'm going to draw stuff for you, and, uh, and Tim is going to make it slightly better. It's a beautiful drawing you have there. Thanks. Um, is that a fish? It could be, if you want it to be. But I have an idea for you today, Tim. Oh, what's that? The first thing that we're going to draw here, right? Okay. be a beetle. A beetle. And... But that's not all. Mm. There's more. The second random element is going to be a clock. Two things that I like. Time and bugs? Yeah, I'm going to draw a little... Uh, time bug a little time bug for you and let's uh let's see what you make of it so what, what comes to mind when you think of beetles and uh, clocks beetles and clocks I, I feel like uh time traveling beetle wizards we've got uh clocks uh, uh wall clocks that you could have bugs with uh the, the wings open whenever it chimes uh, a beetle so like a the beetle clock backpack. is the beetle yeah yeah i like that wait hold on hold on i got i got something thinking like a just like a clock thing on the back here okay so then like salvador dali eat your heart out clocks <laughs> melting into bugs yeah so i'm thinking i'm thinking <laughs> like a little mechanical creature okay that like walks around town Right, and he's got like a little clock in his back, and he tells people what time it is. Okay. Oh, does does he does he speak, or is it just sort of like, yo, it's time? <laughs> uh, I think people just look at him, and then he he shows them the time. Yo, <laughs> he's just walking around town. Ready he's to go. just like, yo, what's up? I'm a beetle. It's four o'clock. So he's a traveling clocks clock <laughs> bug. Is it like a pocket watch on his back? What do you what do you think there? Oh, I mean, he could be like he could be shaped like a pocket watch or a pocket watch shaped like a beetle. I kind of like the idea of that the the uh, clocks like in his back or something like underneath his wings. And like maybe he has like some like gears on his like belly or like mm -hmm. under his wings or something. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna get a nice little uh, little box for our little clock bug to live in. So we could go into a little little tip area here. And what I'm doing here is just basically giving the beetle an area to live in. And the reason I'm giving this box is so it kind of gives me an idea of the perspective to draw in. Sort of like gives you a, a smaller perspective space to build in. So I'm just going to build the bug in this cube here. So it's like a way to visualize an object in perspective yeah but like, that's not a box yeah and then you can fill you can just be like okay this box is like the bounding box of the area it's like the it's where the object can live inside so that's like uh sculpting yeah kind of yeah you could imagine you know in a, like a 3d program or something if you grab an object its bounding box might be these these points because mm -hmm. it like bounce hits on these surface points here like right there right there so you can kind of imagine when you're building your structure inside of it It'll fit inside that box. Uh, it's a lot easier than like looking at an empty blank canvas and being like, I don't know where to put this thing in this frame. That's scary. Nice. I might make him a little taller just to make him look a little chunkier. Gotta love the chunk. Mm -hmm. So what uh, like what world does this bug live in? Does he live with all other bugs that live with him here? Or what's the deal there? If he's a clock, right, mm -hmm. that tells time, then who needs to know time? Uh, time bandits. Time bandits. Are they? Are they stealing time? Or I feel like I'm giving I you the worst answer possible. <laughs> I love time bandits. I don't know what you're talking about. That reminds me of that like really crummy movie from that. Uh... Oh, you mean that one called Time Bandits? <laughs> yeah, Time Bandits. It's coming out 2020. Mm. Uh, wait, I'm gonna draw here like a little time bandit down here because I like that idea. Okay, well, I'm still drawing my little bug that's fitting in this little area. I know it looks a little messy here. I'm just getting a little base drawing so I have something to go off of when I start painting. And we're gonna put this little clock. This is about where the clock will sit. And I'm kind of thinking of like oh, this looks screwed up a little or something. Maybe it's more embedded underneath and it extrudes down into the bug. Let's give him some little. Uh, tentacle thingies just make sure i like i definitely want him to have like one of these big boys you know you know oh, like a big about? old horn yeah okay we can do that so what i'm doing here is i'm just figuring out where these horns should be placed and kind of finding the center point so i it looks like it could i think originally it's a 
a single horn, but I'm doing a double. Is that okay? Yeah, it could be a, yeah. a double. We're changing it up. This is concept art now. You know, this is our imagination, so it can be whatever we want it to be. So do you think, uh, is there like a status thing with these, these little horns that these bugs have? Can they, or do they, do they use it somehow to wind up their clocks? I don't know. Tell me. Yeah, I think the beetles are actually more like tools uh, than anything. Oh, like, they're less like a creature. They don't actually like live. I think they were crafted by someone. So mm-hmm. I don't think they, I mean, maybe they do have self-intelligence, but if they're mechanical or made out of metal, their main purpose is to just to tell time. Yeah. But these okay. time bandits, on the other hand, maybe this is how they're stealing time is using these time beetles. Ooh, people are stealing time. I like that idea. Except I'd rather be given time than stolen away time. <laughs> <laughs> so you would rather be the time bandit, is what you're saying, than the time No, I want to be the time giver. The time giver? Yeah, I want to give people more time. Well, you, you can't just take time out of thin air. Time doesn't grow on trees. Well, it Tim. does in this world. Look. <laughs> Look oh, at a, a tree. tree. <laughs> Look at all these clocks all over this tree. <laughs> oh, okay. I have to draw the time tree now, too. I'm actually pretty happy with this little beetle dude. Although you can't really see the clock. Maybe maybe it'll have like one of his wings up in the back, kind of being like, hey, guys, check out my clocks. What do you buy it? <laughs> <laughs> He's got his little bug trench coat on. Oh, yeah. You know what? Let's get rid of the wings. I feel like this. he walks around, you said. He doesn't fly, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll get rid of the wings then. Maybe the wings could open up when the clock needs to be fixed or when the time is extracted from the time beetle. Okay. Is is time like uh it's like something you could hold in this universe? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> So I'm getting these little legs here, trying to make them look like they're like landing on the ground in nice little spots. It's got little feels to them. <laughs> Brilliant. And so what I'm going to do now that I have kind of everything colored in, I can just take this and I'm just clip masking it onto the, the bug. Hey, look, we got rid of all the lines are gone. Now we have a nice little thing to paint on. Yeah. So let's let's get some color on this bug. What, uh, what color should it be? Yeah. So, okay. If time is like a physical object in this world, then... Time is purple. Time is... <laughs> Time's purple. <laughs> settled. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why not? Y- you know what? I'm going to add another color. Ooh, right? What's the next color? Like a, like a magenta. Could be like the highlight. Ah, you know? uh, yeah, yeah. So maybe it has like the one of those opalescent feel to them or something. Or, or it's just like more magenta and pinky up top like this. That's already looking cool. Or it could be like the magenta. You know how um those lights that like you get at Disney World where they have little plastic strings and at the end of them, the tips glow? Hmm. No, I'm not familiar with those. Can you uh, draw me one? Fiber optics. That's oh, what I'm talking about. talking about. Yeah, I know fiber optics. <laughs> yeah. So like the end would glow, right? Maybe. Oh, like the, the tips of like the uh, horns or what are we talking here? Whatever you want. Ooh. Maybe the tips of the feet. The, the edges of the shell. Everything. It could be everything. Okay. Yeah. So what color should the clock be? Uh, I was, my initial idea, without getting an answer from you. <laughs> oh, I was didn't hear be, you say that. <laughs> was going to be gold. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, is the is the bug, I was thinking the bug was made out of metal. Yeah. So then what type of metal is this if it's purple is my question. Uh, oxidized metals. Of the magical bug land. Of magical time bugs. Yes. Or, you know, as uh, one of my favorite designers I work with says, video games. <laughs> video games? <laughs> <laughs> what material is it made out of? Video uh, games. Video yes. games <laughs> equals and answers everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's like Disney and magic, right? If there's a plot hole, they're just like, boom, magic. Magic. Plot hole solved. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm doing what I'm doing here is to make this look like more three D and dimensional. I basically just made uh, a circle, plopped it into space, and then like tw- twerked it into perspective. <laughs> you twerked it into perspective. <laughs> I twerked it into perspective. Oh, and once okay. it was perfectly twerked into perspective, I just duplicated it and kind of raised it up. So look how like dimensional that feels. Yeah, dimensional. You know, I'm not sure exactly the things that you're saying. But I'm just going to nod my head and say I agree and absolutely. Are you telling me you're not familiar with a dimensional twerk? <laughs> the dimensional twerk. <laughs> you got to draw that. Oh. I don't know if it's possible. <laughs> I'm going to do it down here. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> the dimensional twerk. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting a little inset. I'm basically just extruding in and out on this 
So I have this one inside of it, and I'm just like, whoop, to see how deep it goes. Oh, that looks almost 3D. So now I'm just going to grab some colors here. We're just, we're just painting what we're doing. Yeah. Um, this is this is the worst butt I've ever, <laughs> I've is, ever drawn. What is that? Uh, you know, I'm trying to draw a butt here that's like, wait, hold on. Maybe I'll draw the silhouette first. What I'll, are those? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take a page out of Tim's book. <laughs> See, we're learning. We're learning. So this is just the lower half of a body here. Okay. Um, Hold on. This is the dimensional twerk. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dimension falling apart. Would you and say you can... the dimensional twerk is a lot, a lot <laughs> this of is, work? This, <laughs> the dimensional twerk is a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Um, And then, so this is like, I'm going to add some like action lines here, you know? Um, mm -hmm going up and down that's the dimensional twerk it's right there um all right moving on moving right along so who do you think these um these bandits are stealing time from i forgot are the are the bugs the bandits no no oh i was thinking these are people using these bugs oh to steal, to steal time yeah, but maybe. if the bugs were bandits i actually like that way better can we give him like a little bandana. That's all I want is, wait, hold on. Is there a way just, to like, maybe we could do a mechanical version of it? I just want him to be like a little Western, <laughs> little Western bandit. Little look. bandit. So it's like a little here? Yes, that's it. That's exactly. Let me put the little bandit. It's got a hang down, like a little handkerchief. <laughs> okay, let's see. I guess, no, that should, shouldn't cover his face. It would just cover his Just cover his mouth. mouth. Yeah, a little yeah. lower mouth bit. In the you had mentioned a little bit ago uh, some fiber optic stuff. We're still cruising down with that idea. Yeah. Maybe it's up in his his uh, little sensors. Sure. Yeah. Put it on up there. So maybe he's got little sensors. You could even think of them as eyeballs if you wanted. They kind of stick out so they can see the time better. <laughs> I don't like that actually. <laughs> <laughs> what is it creepy? Yeah. <laughs> I think it looks adorable. Mm. I'm gonna scale like down it. a little bit. Okay, so well, how do we change this then? Well, his eyes should be like this, like this guy here. I think. Oh, well, like... I was thinking these were just sensors; they don't have to be. Oh, eyes. okay. They're like faux eyes, is what I was thinking about. So. Oh, oh, okay. His eyes can be down here still. Yeah, they could be like little, like little rave lights. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> like wee you, wee you. <laughs> yeah, that's all the raves I've been to. Actually, yeah. I've never been to a rave. <laughs> but if I were, I probably would go wee you, wee you, wee you while exactly. I was there. So what does a mechanical bug eye look like? Oh, here it should look like this. This thing. Okay. It does. Circle. And then this is like a metal plate here. Oh, I see what you mean. Like a little line we got here. And then this darker. may be just like built in. We won't see it too much from this perspective, but I think I can. Or if you want to make it cuter, right? I've seen this done a lot. You, you had two, and then it's more expressive. Um, but his handkerchief definitely needs to be like a bright colored. Okay. Maybe like a red for going standard bandit. I might fight back on red, but we can we can it doesn't get need a, to be a red. color. It could be. It'll be like a nice color that'll work. Something that that pops. I could do a red that's kind of like this kind of pinky. Yeah. I do love that these little these little mechanical robot beetles are going around stealing your time. Watch out. I'm going to get your time, man. I'm going to get your time. You Stick out of time. Up. <laughs> Wait, are they little Grim Reapers? You're out of time. Oh, my the gosh. The time has come. Yeah, Grim Reapers. <laughs> They're like, give them a scythe. <laughs> no, but that would Never. look... <laughs> pretty pretty cool. <laughs> so now I have that. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little quick uh, blending pass again here. And so what I usually do is like I'll smooth this stuff out and then mm -hmm. add contour lines on top of it. I wanna try, I'm trying to get that little has like a little, little point to it. Is it maybe it has a little bolt on it? Absolutely. Hold, hold it in place. It's a little bolt. Yeah. And oh, what do they call the little um the rivets? I think he could use some rivets. Okay. So if this is his back, right? He could have rivets here. Oh, kind of along the back bottom there yeah, yeah it could work let me get his love me some rivets i'm Old working on right steampunk. now i'm getting his uh his little wing area figuring out where those lines are so i actually i was thinking his wings they curve since he's not really a flyer but he still has wings they like curve around the clock oh yeah okay so 24 7 around the clock they're always just right there <laughs> around the clock 24 7 <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. sometimes i hate myself <laughs> What? No, Tim. 
<laughs> that was gold. We have gold like this clock here. Yeah, it was almost good. <laughs> Speaking of, we we have to we have to work out this face, this clock face. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah. Let me uh, put something together for you. Okay. So I love those clocks that and this may be too messy, but have like the gears in the background. You know. Oh, uh, I, I smell what you're stepping in. You smell what I'm putting down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So you imagine these little gears are, I guess it would be kind of cool if they're not the gold color, so they kind of stick out a little bit more. And then there'll be like the central gear. And right now I'm just approaching these gears as if they were just little circles and stuff. We don't really want to get too caught up on their yeah. intricacies yet. Although I feel like this could take away from the readability of the clock itself. We can just chop the contrast on it and be fine. There you go. See? Art stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna well, we can just make it match the color too. We can bring in more reds and more yellows. See how it's starting to blend in better. Yeah. Hey Tim, <laughs> uh, what does the uh, what does this beetle do uh, with all of his extra time that he's stolen? <laughs> he raves. That's what he does. <laughs> he's a raving. He's a beetle raving bandit. lunatic. I mean, beetle. <laughs> Both. Yeah. So these beetles definitely live forever. Well, they're mechanical. Does someone have to wind them up? Um, I don't know. What Does someone wind them up? I don't know. Depends on what to, to get upset about. <laughs> <laughs> you know what really ticks my clock? You know, you know what really grinds my gears? You know what really shifts my <laughs> minute hand? When people are buzzkills <laughs> at my raves that I go to frequently. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make some bevels here because everyone knows... To make something nice and chunky, you gotta bevel it. Gotta bevel it. Put a bevel on it. Put a bevel on it. <laughs> when in doubt, bevel it. Wait, okay, it's got a rhyme. I don't know uh, what rhymes with bevel. When in doubt, trout. <laughs> yep, that's it. <laughs> I'll draw your trout. I'll take your trout and up you a bevel. Your chunky trout. He's very surprised. He's also splashing you out. You know, some we still water. don't even have like a clock hand on this clock. That's true. What time should it be? I mean, four o'clock, obviously, because he's he's telling everyone it's time to party. <laughs> okay. Everyone knows four o'clock is rave time, so yeah. He's like, stick your hands up in the air and dance. <laughs> do that. Do the dimensional, the dimensional <laughs> twerk. <laughs> uh, yeah. Four o'clock. There we go. <laughs> we could put a little glass uh, top on this too, if you want. I yeah. think also we need to figure out a little shine. I guess uh would you imagine it's just gonna have like an ill indicator as as what's the top? I feel like it could be like, I don't know, beetle time. So they could be beetle numbers, which are just random symbols. Okay. To us. Everyone knows that twelve o'clock is a doobly dab. Yeah, and like beetle time, right, is very different than human time. So, you know, they're actually just stealing like minutes. <laughs> regular human minutes <laughs> so they're actually harmless creatures <laughs> Try, trying to think what beetleography but it makes them like. live forever <laughs> completely harmless makes them live forever let's put a little little doodad up there for now i'm not really sure what what beetle topography would look like i like the gold bits coming in through i wonder if you could add more of that yeah i was thinking about it. i kind of want to have it hinting that there's more kind of connection points underneath here gold trim on the wings and some of these joints yeah you know, what we could do here is let's make that let's make all of our gold layers on its own layer there we go and you'll see why i'm doing that in just a moment here any ideas where you want gold you want gold to run along the bottom here too Ooh, yes it needs a little gold gold rims on his sensors and like right at the horn joints oh that's a good call yeah like you know they've been bolted on i like it rivets <laughs> just give me some rivets we'll be good it's riveting <laughs> Ribbiting. <laughs> Ribbiting. This is not a frog. Uh, I guess his eyes might have like a little gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's looking downright devilishly devious. <laughs> so the trick I wanted to show here. So I have this layer where it's all the gold bits. And I'll just use like a really soft brush and just hit it with a few highlights and a few spots. To kind of be like, this is where the light's hitting it. Whoa, that's magic. And it, it I don't adds, know what you're doing right it, now. but It adds a lot. <laughs> You know, if there's cheating in art, this is it. <laughs> is it? It's just the softest of brushes, and it works really nice. One thing I could have done better on this, too, is uh, I didn't really deliberately choose a lighting <laughs> position. <laughs> so the lighting's just wherever. 
Well, you know, I didn't notice, so... Yeah, we can always live, we can always learn, and that's a learn we could have done. And actually, I might just grab all of the wing area, and we're going to make that look really nice and smooth. So even though I flattened it, I'm still going in and grabbing a bunch of chunks because I just want to fix some stuff really quick. What do you mean by, by smooth? Well, see how like, uh, the, the valley looks like it's a little bit lumpy, I guess you could say. Mm. Like you can see, uh, I see in some areas it looks darker and lighter in some, but it doesn't feel like there's a specific direction to the light. Mm -hmm. so basically just going to come back in, do some of the stuff we did really early on and correct it a little bit. And there we go. Although we could add a shadow from the clock. I just realized I didn't have that casting. So we imagine this would be kind of lights like here, casting across here. It's party time. It's party time. Nts, nts, nts. Seems like you really got into your drawing over there. He's like, stick them up. Give me your time. <laughs> and then like, you know, the teenager at the, at the rave is like, yeah, okay, you can have a minute. Here you go. We live another hundred years. <laughs> Kids don't go to raves. <laughs> Teenager, as a teenager. Well, I was, I was saying, don't go to raves. Oh, raves. yeah, don't, don't, don't go to raves, kids. I mean, <laughs> speaking from a grown man who's never gone to a rave. You, uh, have, you have a lot of experience in that area. I just want to make it feel a little bit more mechanical, and then we're good to go. So maybe, maybe they're just stealing all the time people are wasting. <laughs> people, yeah. I mean, I waste a lot of time. I could use my time better. Yeah, like TikTok, man. <laughs> I mean, speaking. I know I should be investing kids. all of my time into TikTok. <laughs> You're right. TikTok's the future. Invest, invest. <laughs> I think we're. I think we're done. Unless there's anything you think to add here. Mm. What do you think, Maestro? I'm thinking maybe a little bit of texture, like he's old. Okay. That's why he needs the time. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Very nice. Maybe one more thing. Might try it. Might work. Might not. I kind of want to put a, a piece of glass across it. Like just. So how do you do that? So what I'm doing is I'm just getting a a layer of blue which will be my glass i'm just curving it into the same spot and then i was going to take the opacity and lower it down a bunch so see mm. how it starts feeling like it's looking through something and now i'll select that area make a new layer on top of that get like a really soft brush and grab like a really light light blue color yeah like that and then now i'm adding just like a little dark line of like ambient occlusion of where the glass is probably touching the side of the wall surface here of the interior of the clock okay yeah we're done yeah this is great like i want to see the world that this boy is in well maybe we can keep working in this world in the future maybe as we go forward we'll build out more worlds and stuff and this is the beetle the beetle the, world the time beetle world yeah. time beetle bandit world yeah time beetle twerking bandit world <laughs> can't forget the twerking <laughs> that's a crucial cornerstone of yeah, this yeah, world yes, of course <laughs> Interdimensional twerking, or <laughs> I forget. You're not really working if you're not really twerking in an interdimensional twerk. So yeah, that's our time bandit beetle uh, baby, and um... that's a time bandit beetle baby. <laughs> and I do what I can, <laughs> and I do what I want. I steal your time. <laughs> uh, adventure time. Yeah. So, just, wow. Full circle. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, like, subscribe, do all the things, share it with your friends. We like doing this show, so... Yeah, leave a comment below and such. And bye! Bye! <laughs>